Hey, Tracy Repchuk here, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up questions in uh, the Zoom platform. Alrighty, so let's say first we're going to set up a webinar. I'll just click on this, and let's say schedule a webinar. And you'll give this a title, of course. And let's say we call it uh, um, Art Call, give it a description, get, set your date. Just I don't know, for randomity, I'm going to set that. And it's not recurring. Registration, yes, is required. Um, require webinar password. <clears throat> um, for meetings, this is up to you. You can have a webinar password. Um, for meetings, it's required because they don't register. In this situation, we have people registering, and so we get a feel for exactly who they are. So this is up to you. I keep webinar passwords off. Okay, so video for the host, off, off. You can set that later once you start and just accept record the webinar automatically I guess on local computer that's fine unless you had a, um, a cloud situation whichever you want there and then you just click schedule so the piece I'm showing you here though is setting up the questions that you want when they are about to re register to me, this is a perfect opportunity to get um, more data so that you can, um, it's almost like a mini survey. Every webinar I put on, I do a mini survey. In fact, I, I do it for client calls, I do it for everything. So pretty much, generally, you know, approval, automatically approve, that's normally what happens. Uh, you're going to send an email to them when they register. That's automatic. And then um, the rest is generally automatic as well. Okay. But here's the uh, thing here. So I always like uh, first name, last name, and phone number. Okay. And I make that a required. I figure if someone's not willing to give me their phone number, then perhaps they're not truly interested in what it is that I'm doing. Um, especially in many cases, it's important to follow up or something went wrong or whatever. So I like that data. Now here's where I always shine, and that is where my surveys come in under custom questions. So let's say I was going to do these. Let's say I was going to set up, and I'm going to hit new question, short answer, required, you know, how did you find out about blah, right? Whatever a, a question you have. In this case, I'll just uh, say this and create. Then I'm going to get my next question. Okay. In this case, it's, are you an artist? You could ask anything. It all depends on what answers you need to be able to either serve them on your call um, or data that you need um, from an from a, a now perspective, data you need now or data you would like to have in the future so that you know to ask them something later. Okay, and again, I've got my next question in here. And last question, anything else you would like us to know? I always include this question and I'll tell you why. People love to answer or to tell me stuff, okay? So in this case, I'm not going to make it required. Notice I removed that, and there it is. So I don't care if they say, you know, how'd you, I don't care what they say per se. The key is those that are truly interested are going to answer these properly. Um, and then in this situation, um, uh, it's optional, and generally some, people will write something there like, oh, I want you to know I'd be interested in this, or do you have a this? They, or I'm having problems with this. They always seem to give more data. And this data is so helpful in the planning of whatever it is that you're doing or the reason that you're holding a, um, a webinar or call. So then save all. 
Alrighty, and then once you've done that, then you have your link, right? So you'll copy the URL. This is the link that you will share with everybody in order to um, be able to promote, but more importantly, I always do a test, okay? So I copy it to my browser, and then you're going to see here, notice it's asking first name, last name, email address, right? It's asking for a phone number. And then here's the questions, right? How did you find out about us? I'm going to say uh, friend, and are you an artist? Yes, and I could say writer, poet, and yep, yeah. and then uh, we're interested in holding, uh, is it something you would be interested in attending? And you'll get all sorts of stuff in, in this, right? It could be, depends on what it is, the date, the cost, I don't know, need more data. This is brilliant. Anything they type in here excluding no, we know that we can um, now promote data to them. Okay, and then anything else you would like us to know, and then they would click on, I'm just going to say, yes, I'm attending, and then you can click register. Okay, um, and then you know you're tested, and I always use, you'll notice I, I may have had a weird looking email address to you, that's my test email address, because it won't let me send to the same address that, that I'm actually registered in for this um, uh, particular system, to the Zoom system. So that's it. Then you will see, uh, I will actually refresh this, and you will see there's always, already one registrant in there, and there it is. Okay? So that's how you get um, the data you need. And what's beautiful is you're going to be sent a notification with this data so that you can now accumulate it and have it on file for whether you need it for the call or whether you need it for um, something in the future. So that's it for this particular training. Thank you for attending, and I look forward to seeing you next time again. My name is Tracy Repchuk, and I'll see you next time.